Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So of course, I look weird. It's Halloween, it's October 13th when I'm filming this, and I did do a makeup look on this. I'm going to be doing a lot of spiderweb themes in the month of October. My um, lovely, amazing Brandon decided to give me that idea, and I am just so excited because Jeffree Star is releasing the Halloween mystery boxes. I'm going to get the little one just because I don't want... I have so much Jeffree Star products that I don't want to get the bigger ones because I don't feel like it's worth it for me. <laughs> of course, if I get duplicate products in my premium box, which is the littlest one that he has this year, it'll be going into a subscriber giveaway, which I have currently announced seven different subscriber giveaways. So, super excited about that. But anyways, we're going to be doing a mask today, and I'm going to take this makeup off. I've had it on for about two hours. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready for it to come off. I just don't feel very good. And I'm ready for it's Wednesday when I'm filming this and the Jeffree Star Weirdo collection comes out Friday. I just want Friday to come so I can order it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Y'all like really fast. Why do I like the faded spider web look? Is that like cool? Maybe I'll do like a smaller one tomorrow because I'm gonna be filming in October 2021. Halloween look, and I was planning to do the spider web again. I kind of liked that. Also, I'm hungry as hell. The difference, for real, you guys. But anyways, um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of like all the food my mom has in her kitchen, and I think I've talked about it before in like my get to know my channel video. But like my entire family is like just chefs, so like we always have something in my mom's kitchen that is like. The most delicious thing ever that you can eat and I have no idea what I'm going to eat for real I'm so hungry it's literally 11 12 when I'm filming this and I have not ate all day I am so hungry <laughs> my spider webs are gone but I'm low-key filling the simple like grungy eye look it was I literally used an LA colors um, with shadow and smoke and I think is what it was called. And I'm I'm feeling it. Like I would totally use this again for a smoky eye. No joke. But anyways, today we are gonna be doing the Bolario facial rescue mask. This is the clarifying palm one. It is chamomile and argan. I've done two of these already. Um don't know if it'll be up with they'll be up with this one just because I kind of like the idea of keeping a theme for my October videos, filming them in October. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm feeling it. Um, we'll talk about the ingredients. This came from Dollar Tree for one, but we'll talk about the ingredients again. Um, I'm not a fan of the ingredients list of these like little rescue masks just so you guys know it's not like the best ingredient list but I do love this brand like I did have some decent experiences with this brand and this is a three to five minute mask and I'm going to just do three minutes just because I'm so Starving, you guys. I have normal to dry skin. It's actually more dry right now, which is because we're getting into the winter months. But I have occasional dry patches. I've gotten rid of my dry patches. My three minutes have started. But anyways, this is the ingredient list right here. It just seems super small to me. You know, water is the first ingredient. They have glycerin and they have aloe. Then they have a bunch of other stuff in the middle that I don't know what it is. And then the last three ingredients is fragrance, the chamomile, and then the argan extract. Which means the chamomile and the argan extract are the lowest in, like, ingre like incorporated ingredients in the ingredient list. And fragrance is above it. And I don't really enjoy having fragrance in skincare. I've had a lot of masks have fragrance skin in it. And I have sensitive skin also, but these masks haven't actually agitated me yet. 
but this is the last one that I'm going to be doing. And this is a clarify and calm one, which it says underneath of that to nourish your complexion with the powerful blend of skin soothing ingredients. And, you know, I again, I have dry skin, so I'm kind of always looking to like nourish and hydrate and I have a pretty decent skincare routine. I just recently have decided to switch it up a little bit and so I'm I'm really happy with my skin. So I'm gonna be scared if this um you know like I just keep a close eye on my skin then I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys what I changed my skincare routine with and how it worked and I also drink a lot of water. I'm a very big believer in purified water, you know. I have a Brita um, water purifier. I talk about it a lot on my channel. I actually went out and purchased a water bottle with filters, a sink um, purifier with filters, another dispenser, the exact same one that I have with filters, and a pitcher with filters to all go in different giveaways for you guys just because I really want to promote health and I really, really think that purified water is a way to go when it comes to you know your health I do think that I saw the serious difference in not only my health but my skin's health when I started drinking water not only that purified water because I don't like our sink water where I live I live at the beach it's very it tastes very toxic to me and I'll tell anybody that I'll be like don't drink the toxic water use my purifier like if I'm making a milk bottle for Kai where you have the powder formula well, it's not fun, but it's a nutritional drink because for toddlers, I use my purified water. I'm not going to lie. I use my purified water. That's just like me because um, like, why would I give my son toxic water when I won't even drink it? I won't give something to him that I wouldn't drink. This isn't really seeming to agitate and it's about to come off right now. I always, always, always take this off from the bottom. I saw a Tati video that talked about, like, if you take it from the bottom, it's supposed to come better. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and get the serum off because it does say to take the residue off. And I'll be right back. I thought this real quickly. I just wanted to come on here because I thought it. Um, this is a really shady mask, in my opinion, because of the ingredient list being so weird. But also, this is a three to five minute mask, and I wonder if the reason that the company says three to five minute mask for these, because they know the ingredient list sucks, <laughs> but they also tell you to take the residue off, which every single high-end skincare brand that I have my personal masks for that I don't use on this series, um, I'll say to rub in the leftover residue because it's going to be super good for your skin. So it kind of makes me wonder why this brand is saying take the re leftover residue off. Seriously, you guys? No eye makeup? Eye makeup? Yes, I know that there's still some right here. I'll probably get the rest of it off when I take like, a shower or a bath. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet because I just cleaned the bath up here. Um, so I might take a bubble bath because I'm still not feeling very good. I took two days off from filming. But anyways, I think that that did pretty good removing it. Considering the fact that all I've had on today was I did my eye primer. I set it with, um, Wealthy by Jeffree Star. I used that liquid liner, or that liquid shadow. I used a black shadow down here, and I used a black eyeliner, and I really like it. By the way, you guys, I'm going to be the mother of a 15-month-old in literally three days. I cannot believe it. All the things he does, like, it's blowing my mind. I can't wait to do an updated video on him in three days because I do him on the day he turns 15 months. But anyways, back to the mask. I don't think that this is a bad mask. I don't think it's a good mask. I just think it's a mediocre mask. You know, if you want to try it, of course, I think you should. I mean, it's a dollar. You know, I got it from Dollar Tree. You can't really go wrong with a dollar. Like, you're not really losing that much, in my opinion. So if you want to give it a try and you see it at your local Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick it up and give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.